Hi, my name is Tim Gormley, and the video you're about to see is a segment from a television pilot that I was filming for Eastlink Cable Access back in 1999. The intent of the program was to interview and showcase the works of island artists, and also feature interviews with established artists from throughout the Maritimes. The program, it hit a few snags. Uh, Eastlink didn't like the approach I was taking. I wanted to make a very rough around the edges program, filmed with a camcorder, just to give it a more personal feel. Uh, I didn't want the interviews to be overly structured. Uh, there would be, of course, research into who you're interviewing, and a few lead questions. But uh, I wanted a conversation. I wanted people to feel like they were watching something comfortable. I wanted them to feel at home watching this. And I think for the first interview, it did turn out okay. It undoubtedly would have gotten better as time progressed, but uh, that that didn't happen. And that's, that's cool because I moved on to do other things. And, you know, I, I think in hindsight, I probably wasn't as interested in doing this as I thought I was at the time. Uh, for the interview, I got to interview Tara McLean, who was in town promoting her new CD at the time called Passenger. She was lovely. I absolutely loved interviewing Tara, and I thank her if she happens to come across this for letting me do that. Um, having a complete nobody come up to you with a, a cheap, crappy-looking little uh, business card and say, I'm doing an interview and I'm making a television program, wow, that's a, a leap of faith on her part. Anyway, um, that's really all I have to say. Uh, I hope you enjoy the interview. It, it was uh, it was fun doing it. Uh, there's a lot less hair on my head in uh, in the past than there is in the present. So, uh, and probably a few uh, fewer bags under my eyes as well. Enjoy the interview. So maybe I don't, I'm not going to set a date or anything, but where would you like to go? What are my visions? Yeah, yeah. visions. Well, I think that um, my visions consist of uh, a lot of records and music that that are you know in my future really good music. I hope that I continue to make good strong music. Uh, a family with my husband who's my guitar player as well. And uh, just just a, a place, a home somewhere that because when you're on the road you're moving around so much and I'm really looking forward to having a place that, you know, it's not like I have to answer to a landlord or anything. It's just my own little place. So that's yeah. definitely probably <laughs> I want a hammock and a fireplace in my bedroom. <laughs> yes, I share that dream as well someday I hope. But uh, I see it a few years down the road. You've had yeah. obstacles in your career earlier on? Yeah, uh, um, it's funny, you know, the obstacles didn't so much come in to my career as far as getting my record deal or getting, you know, uh, getting, well, just deciding and finding management and agent and all that stuff. All that was very easy. I think the obstacles sort of came early on in life just with, you know, going, going through things and, um, and so I wrote about those obstacles, got me, and the writing got me through it. And I think that's why people seem to gravitate towards the music because it's about real life. It's, it's really I'm writing about things that I've experienced and it's, I've been there. Yeah, and it is. In t I think it's a bit of a boys' club out there as far as the industry goes. But I'm lucky because Network Records is a wonderful uh, place, and my management company also, Network Management, is great. And all the men are very touch with us. That's something last night that I really connected with about how when you felt personally that you were going to sink, mm -hmm. you really do, Yeah. and I know that is so true. Straight to the bottom. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's so much self-motivation. It's such yep. an important part. I really like the story you told, too. I was Thank wondering you. if you'd mind uh, sharing that. Sharing the story? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it begins when I was four years old. My parents were uh, Christian, and we would go and stay at camps and ashrams and different sort of religious uh, places where we could meditate or be or pray or whatever seemed to be going on and um, this one place we were at had a beautiful stream where they would do baptisms and um, and I went down to the water and found a place where I could walk across the water uh, on these stones and uh, I was sort of showing off and I slipped and my mom was, I could still see her screaming from the shore she had a long hair and this long jean skirt just going somebody get her because I was just too far out and and she, she just trusted me, and I don't think it occurred to her that I couldn't really swim because I was in the water all the time. So I, uh, I ended up um, being quite afraid of the water for a little while. And she took me back down there again uh, a few days later and decided to teach me how to swim. Um, but she said, before I teach you to swim, you have to learn how to float. And by doing that, you have to, uh, you have to lay back and trust me. Put your, I'll put your, my hands behind your back and just lay out 
I did. I just remember being really scared of the sky sort of out there and the clouds and, and it being quite bright. And she said, just close your eyes and put your forehead back as far as you can and believe you're going to float. And if you trust that you'll float, you float. And the moment you think you're going to sink, you're going to sink. <laughs> and hence to life philosophy of sinking when you think you're going to sink. It is true. Self-motivation is a huge part of being alive. And well, there's so many things that can get you down. I mean, just not only mentally, like we, we mistakenly have dissected um, our, our ways of, of living and being into different categories, spiritual, mental, physical, but it's all the same thing. I, I believe that illness is psychosomatic, fear, all of that ugly fear is what makes you ill and and keeps you from doing things that you want to do. Yeah, yeah I guess you have to do a little. It's, it's very easy to forget all of these things mm -hmm. and to just kind of fall off and start really feeling badly about yourself sometimes. Yeah, it sure is. It sure, it sure is easy. And, and I've done it. Like, I've, I've hit the bottom. Mm -hmm. And when you claw your way out of that place, you know, your fingernails, you're, yeah. you just, you, you, it can be so difficult, but you get so strong. And that is why I believe that courage comes from from being in those places. In our society, we see, say, depression or, or any of those things as, as a weakness. Yeah. You know, because we're so we've been programmed to think that the Beaver Cleaver family is what it's all about. You know, we're yes. all supposed to be happy, all, and if we're not happy, well, that's just not right. You know, and so the moment someone's down or depressed or or not feeling like they're they're happy, we go, oh well, we have a pill for that. We have a pill that will make you not have to deal with any of this stuff, and you can just be happy all the time, and that would be really cool, won't it? And the doctors give it out like candy, and yeah. it's an epidemic all through America, and I believe in going to those dark places and battling those demons, because that is where you find your art, that is where you find your music, that is where you find your tool to be alive. It's in the truth. It's in the truth. The, the, yeah, the darkness is part of, it's exactly half exactly half of what you're supposed to express yourself like unchecked creativity will you'll explode so <laughs> and from what I understand about this show that that is sort of the theme is, is art and how to access it and and if you access it within yourself yeah. this is my true belief if you access it within yourself completely then everything you need to to w will appear you know like it, you, if you have something great to give the world because you've fought and you've been there and you have something to say and it's meaningful, then the the book publishing or the or the record company or the publisher or whoever, like whoever you need will will appear to guide you there. So it, everyone is an artist. I do agree. Mm. You are a very knowledgeable, truly knowledgeable. <laughs> oh man, no, I just had some tea. Check this out. <laughs> okay. Chai, uh -huh. organic, Uncle Lee's chai, very good, green tea with lemon. A little caffeine for a little pick-me-up, a little soy milk and a little honey in it. Yep. And you're on your way to a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good plug. Yeah, it is a good plug, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. You know, how does that organic you? That's fabulous. We have some teas like that at home. Oh, I love this stuff. I, I can't drink too much of it because I get a little, a little wired. Really? Here, try this. Here, take one. Oh, on. really? Yeah, and try it. Thank Tell you. me if you like it. Wow. Some tea. Take Sean, get some tea. Yeah. That'll go really well with your soup, Sean. <laughs> with a little, yeah, milk and honey. Thank you so You're much. You're very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it begins with tea. I'm actually on a search for the most beautiful teapot in the world. Really? Yes. I'm going to travel to the ends of the earth to find the coolest uh, and most beautiful, ornate, handmade yeah. teapot because I'm really into tea and I'm really into like, sitting around and drinking. Uh, actually, I'm uh, on my way to Moncton. Yeah, and we would like to support you by buying two CDs from you. Oh, yes, okay. Because this is who you're supporting, people. I don't yeah. want to hear anything about <laughs> that CD ripping crap. CD you ripping? See that you'd see, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ripping CDs, making dubs, that kind of thing. Oh. None of that. Just all of some of this. Put it <laughs> I here. do appreciate the this support. Is what we Thank want you very much. Because we love people here. We love Tara. We Thank want you. to see her be successful, Yay. okay? Because she's worked really hard. Really hard. I need to fight for good. You deserve this. And so, Thank you. You're so wise. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care, okay? You're welcome. All right. I will. You too. Uh, we'll get some CDs now. Thanks. Give me. Right on. It's really all about the money. Yep. That was all just a big, uh, no, I'm just kidding.